Number 1. Grande Plage. Biarritz's most central beach, the Grande Plage has attracted high society vacationers since the Belle Epoque. This wide, sandy beach begins at Bellevue near the Boulevard du General de Gaulle and extends to the Hotel du Palais. In summertime, the beach is covered with sunbathers and their colorful striped cabanas. Lifeguards are on duty from May through October with more extended hours during the high season. Number 2. Plage du Miramar. Spectacular scenery and dramatic shore breaking waves distinguish the Plage du Miramar. The beach extends from the Hotel du Palais to the Point Saint Martin. This sheltered shoreline offers a sense of tranquility. However, keep in mind that rough seas and strong currents, including riptides, make swimming dangerous. Number 3. Biarritz Aquarium. The Biarritz Aquarium stands on a breathtaking piece of oceanfront property opposite the Rocher de la Vierge. The aquarium's spectacular 7,000-square-meter exhibition space rivals the natural splendor of the scenery. More than 20 aquarium tanks are filled with a wide range of amazing species, from lobsters and sea urchins to turtles and hammerhead sharks. Number 4. Biarritz Lighthouse. The emblematic Biarritz Lighthouse stands at an essential location overlooking the coastline of Cape Hainsart. The lighthouse is at the tip of the Point St. Martin, which marks a boundary between the sandy beaches of the Landis Coast to the south and the rocky coastline to the north. Number 5. Elegant Boulevards and Squares. The elegant boulevards, streets, and squares of Biarritz exemplify the city's aristocratic heritage. At the center of Biarritz, the spacious place Georges Clemenceau joins with several of the city's principal streets. From here, it is a short distance to the Place Bellevue, a semicircular square with panoramic views of the beach and the ocean. Number 6. Meyermont Tea Salon. The Meyermont is renowned for its elegant ambience and traditional French patisserie. You'll find all of the classics in the pastry case, such as eclairs, Gâteau Saint Honoré and strawberry tarts. This historic Salon de the E.T. Salon occupies a 17th-century building with ocean views. The Meyermont's dining room looks out onto the Grande Plage and the Hotel du Palais. Number 7. Rocher de la Vierge. The Rocher de la Vierge is a truly dramatic landmark, a statue of the Virgin Mary set on a steep, narrow rock in the ocean. According to a local legend, Fishermen were guided back to the port during a storm by what seemed to be a divine light. In gratitude, the fishermen installed a statue of the Virgin Mary on the rock. Number 8. Chapelle Imperiale. Empress Eugenie requested the creation of the Chapelle Imperiale for her own personal spiritual worship. Built in 1865, the chapel is dedicated to the Virgin of Guadalupe, Mexico's patron saint. This little gem of a chapel reveals an eclectic yet harmonious blend of architectural elements, Romanesque-inspired arches, Moorish design motifs, and glittering Byzantine-styled gilded mosaics. Number 9. Surfing Beaches. The Côte de Basques is considered the birthplace of surfing in France. The impressive waves provide challenging conditions for surfing, and many competitions are held here. Swimming and wading are allowed except during high tide when waves break on the entire shoreline. Visit the Côte de Basques to admire dazzling oceanfront scenery, with views of the mountainous coastline extending to the Spanish border. Number 10. Day Trip to St. Jean de Luz. St. Jean de Luz is another popular holiday destination on France's Basque coastline. The town has retained its historic charm and the ambience of an old fishing village. Brimming with specialty food shops and traditional restaurants, St. Jean de Luz offers an authentic taste of Basque culture. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.